Hello everyone. In this videos we are covering uh, Visual Basic for KVS PGT Computer Science Examination. If you want to download the presentation and PPTs that we have used in this video, you can go to our website that is www.digimentor.com. Over there you can go to the download section. From there you can download the PPTs or presentations uh, that is used in this video. And you can also go to the courses section to check out our comprehensive courses for GATE, UGC NET, PGT examinations and placement preparation. So now let us continue with the following video. Now the Visual Basic is a third generation event driven programming language which was introduced by Microsoft and the first release was in 1991 and then in 2008 the Microsoft has declared the Visual Basic as legacy. Now because currently in industries we do not use Visual Basic much uh, in developing the rapid applications but rather we have other platforms other technologies also where which we use to develop applications but then visual basic is not much in use even though some people prefer visual basic to create applications but still it is not much in use in the current scenario of the industries because this visual basic is there in the syllabus for K kvs pgt computer science therefore we have to study but again we will be studying with the old older versions of visual basics that means older maybe in 2012 or 2014 version of visual basic and will not be taking the latest versions i'll show you what are the versions available for visual basic in the next slide now here this microsoft when microsoft introduced this visual basic now microsoft wanted the visual basic to be very easy to use so that we can create applications as fast as possible for the windows operating system and that is why they named it as rapid application development interface or consider rapid application development if you remember uh, when i was in btech i used to study a subject we, we had a subject which is called as rapid application development and in that we had to study visual basics because it is very easy to create the graphical user base interface based application in visual basic which can use a uh, database in the back end to communicate with the application itself now over time there, there has been a lot of uh, development in the community of uh, visual basic P people have developed a lot of uh, third party apis uh, applications which are added with the visual basic to make it more powerful throughout these many years now the final release was the version 6 in 1998 which is now simply known as visual basics and in april 8 2008 microsoft stopped the supporting visual basic 6.0 ide but rather what they have done is they introduced visual studio in that visual studio they uh, added much more applications i mean you can develop much more different kinds of applications uh, which was related to asp.net c sharp.net and then visual studios again it is latest visual studios in use and you can develop even android applications with the visual studio you can develop ios applications you can develop the different kinds of application with the visual studios now uh, what they have done is they have included this visual basics in the visual studio in 2008 so that you can develop applications which are based on visual studio as well as which are based on visual basic now just see the versions of visual basic here so the visual basic uh, you can see in 2003 uh, the visual basic was introduced with the visual studio.net they introduced bit shift operators and loop var variable declarations and so many things in uh, this version then uh, we had a visual studio 2005 again uh, this was updated then visual studio 2008 with visual studio 2010 again see we have to study the visual basics so we'll be taking the previous softwares there is previous versions of visual studio we, we are not going to use the latest version of visual studio to develop the applications nowadays uh, even though uh, we are not going to use it but still because it in the syllabus therefore we have to study it okay so again uh, the latest version is 2017 for the visual studio i'll just show you the latest, latest uh, interface of visual studio and there are so many options to develop different kinds of applications in the visual studio okay so let us start with visual basic and we'll see how we can create different kinds of applications in visual basic and what are the menus because obviously we have to clear the examination so we have to go according to the syllabus so we'll have a basic introduction to the menus of visual basic and how we can do different kinds of things how can we can make forms in the visual basic and so on okay 